Uh, the Spider-Man series is a really amazing series. If you don't know the original trilogy in the Marvel movie universe before Disney stuck their STD written dick into the plot line of MCU, then you were a little familiar of the Tobey Maguire movies of Spider-Man that are usually used these days as memes. Well, I found this DVD on the floor and it had special features on it from the first Spider-Man. Wow, this is such an amazing find. I took a gravin and stripped naked and started singing my rain dance songs with my staff until the DVD started. After five furious hours of masturbating and doing anal rain dances, I accidentally kicked over my base camp Dex milk flavored latte and got super pissed. It got all over the DVD making it act funny, but the DVD turned itself on. Uh, you see, the menu came up and it showed Toy McGuire shooting a web into the camera. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Green Goblin! It wasn't played by Toy McGuire, though. It was played by Josh Peck. He, he had his cock out and he was way overfit with the outfit. His stomach was popping out from the bottom and it looks like he was eating way too much pizzas. It's pizza time, motherfucker! He then slammed his landlord's head into the counter and furiously skull fucked him for seven hours straight and went back to the film. <laughs> It then flashed to Toy McGuire furiously grabbing Josh Pickoff with the dude. What are you doing? You need to stop it. I need to fuck my landlord's mouth, bitch. You need to learn that great power comes great responsibility. I'm not such a rapist myself. He then ripped off Toy McGuire's outfit and then bent him over forcibly. Suddenly, Tom Holland from the new MCU series came in and kicked Josh Peck in the head. You need to read your boundaries. I'm a 14-year-old motherfucker. I'm gonna eat your asshole, goddammit! You sound like a pack of s'mores, you space monkey motherfucker! That didn't sound like Toby, Josh, or not even Tom Holland. Listen up. You three are in this menu selection to choose the scenes. If you have your secret Dakota ring, please solve this puzzle. The screen flashed and it showed a mutilated George Jetson. And then it flashed back to Spider-Man. Spider-Man! 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 Spider-Man does the... It finally then let me selected the bonus features. At this point, I already ate my corn nuts that I got from at the theaters when I went to see Heather's, which was a really shitty movie, by the way. There was bonus interviews, deleted scenes, and bloopers, and also a making of section. I am somewhat of a moviegoer myself, so I picked deleted scenes. Deleted scenes showed the... Uh, Showed the infamous, you missed the part where that's my problem scene from after he fights Bonesaw, a.k.a. Randy Savage. Uh, rest in peace, he's sleeping with Hawk Hogan. The robber was running out of the building, but it, it wasn't the robber. It was, it was some skinny mixed kid with black hair and glasses. Anus, anus, anus! Pop, pop, pop! He shot the whole cast of friends and ran out of the building. <laughs> oh! Oh, my brother! No. No, he's covered in jizz. How could you let this happen? How could you let this happen? You missed the part where that's my problem. It wasn't Tony McGuire again. It changed to some kid who goes by Wonder Dad. I don't fucking know. He, 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 he walks out of the bank and then he sees that his Uncle Ben got shot. Uncle Ben? Peter. You're a fucking hang fucking piece of shit. I just want to let you know that I used to pop Xanax because of your existence, you fucking slime ball. Ah, I want to kill the Jews. <laughs> well, that sounded a little anti-Semitic.
Semitic, Semitic, whatever. I didn't know that Uncle Ben was a Nazi. You see, he's the reason the spider happened. Back in World War II, Uncle Ben hid the spider in his foreskin and walked through the trenches to get the Peter to get bit in the first place. Because he wanted Peter so sick, he wanted to take him to the hospital to get disability checks so he can go to the strip club and get some ass. It also explains why Uncle Ben is so quiet throughout the series. The whole time he had extreme anger towards his nephew and usually took it out on him in the middle of the night while his aunt was asleep. Peter. <laughs> it's okay to be scared. I just want you to know something. I care about you so much, Peter. So I'm going to make you my fucking head fuck tonight. Dad. I'm 17. What? 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 You're not my uncle, you motherfucker. It was Josh Pegg again. He stomped right on Uncle Ben's cock, making it explode into purple dust. I can't have shit around here! Ooh! I got enough of the deleted scenes and I started to get really offended, so I went to the interviews. And the first one to pop up was Toby McGuire. I clicked on the Toby McGuire interview to see what questions were asked and what he was going to answer. It was also asking about the making of section of what was supposed to actually happen in the movie. Toby looked dead eyed into the camera and sadly delivered this exact quote. Yeah, well, well, uh, well, Willem Dafoe wasn't wasn't originally supposed to be on the movie. Green Green Goblin wasn't even supposed to be on the movie. Uh, he, he, Willem Dafoe kind of just rolled up on set one day and and just started acting batshit crazy, and everyone was confused. But Rami said the show must go on, and oh, I cried a little. Uh, Willem Dafoe is he's he, he he's a character, you know. He's a character. He has a he has the big teeth. He has the big teeth and. Uh, you know, you can never really go to the bathroom around the man because uh, because he'll look at you. He'll, he'll look at you a lot. He kind of came up on set. He was jacking off on people. He was throwing his feces on the glider. He was beating the shit out of the director every five minutes. Uh, you know, he's, just, he's a really wired guy. I hear you're talking about me. The hallway got silent, and I heard distant footsteps running up to the room that Peter was in. Out of nowhere, Willem Dafoe kicks down the door in a green goblet outfit, runs over to Peter, and slams his head on the floor, beating the shit out of him, and then calmly sitting down in the talking seat. What? What What the fuck did you hit him for? I'm not so much of a shit talker myself. He sat down and then smiled widely with his teeth that could land a plane. He looked sinister. Like the Sinister Six! That's what this thing was about. It was about the Sinister Six. <sighs> How can I not notice? You know, Willem Dafoe, why why are you being interviewed? All my stuntman's doing all my stunts. Uh, I was just smoking a fat fucking blunt backstage. You, you, you smoke weed? Yeah, and I fuck hookers. I'm goddamn Willem Dafoe, motherfucker. I'm gonna rape Peter. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Ooh. He started sounding more high-pitched. Kind of like a voice I heard before. Like a voice I heard in the dollar store bathroom. Then it showed the set on a glider. The stuntman for the Green Goblin, which looked nothing like Willem Dafoe at all. And it was a part where, a deleted scene where he had his mask off. And it was a kid with long red hair and he always had his tongue balled up under his lip named Jonathan. Alright, Mr. Shanholz, are you ready for your stunt? Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to eat my sour cream and William Pringles. Jonathan, jo Jonathan, you're, we're, we're, we're recording the scene. I'm recording the fucking mom taking a shit. You get it. Jo Jonathan then jumped off the glider and stabbed the director to death and then fucked his skull unconscious something serious. He started pouring maple syrup all over his face and saying that he smells like a goddamn pancake and then went back on the glider and then watched the woman change her clothes. <laughs> yeah, take it off, you little fucking whore. Take it off! 
He then glided in closer and the woman saw him. She freaked out, opened the window, and threw a whole coat rack at him, crashing the glider right into the Twin Towers at exactly 2.44 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Seattle. Cut, 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 damn it. Sam Raimi hopped off the chair, really pissed off towards Jonathan Shandholtz. Jonathan, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. No, please. Look, look. You want to listen to Anjali, my black bear, with me at the break? I'm so, shut the fuck up. You little fucking piece of shit. You don't know how to do anything, right? I quit. You what? I quit. I'm done. I'm done. All right. Jesus Christ. Jonathan Shanholt stepped off stage and contemplated it a whole lot. And he knew what he had to do. Nuke it. Jonathan Shanholtz ran to the nearest bomb station around the U.S. and found one. He kicked open the door. He went into the room. He got access to the nukes. And then he pulled a cigar out and started smoking it. Shanholtz, sir. What should, what should we do? Shanholtz puffed a fat rip off the cigar. <sighs> Nuke it. What, sir? Nuke it. Now, sir, this is the United States. You just can't nuke something if you don't. No, get a vein popped. It went back to Tony McGuire, and he was talking about his past acting career. He said everything was pretty good uh, ever since, ever since, uh, ever since uh, that one movie he was in. Yeah. And then the credits rolled. I turned off my DVD player and I decided to contemplate life a bit while walking around the house. And then I heard something in the house. Yeah. Uh, hello? Uh, who's there? It's, it's really funny, but but visiting hours are over. You know, we, were, we just got done a, done, done a movie. I felt something run behind me as I thwit my back around. Nothing. I thwit my back to the corner and I saw something in the shadows lurking within the bedroom. Boom! Motherfucker spilled my jar of condoms. You'll never find me. <laughs> oh man. He broke my black bear mug. And my Xbox. He ripped my whole toilet off. Nuke it. Uh, come back here. God damn it. Uh, I started to stammer and I had an angerism as I was grabbing my baseball bat. Suddenly, my face started to relocate shape, my teeth started to grow, and I started having a really coked up attitude, and I was really geriatric. Oh no, I was becoming Willem Dafoe. The goblin's gonna kill you! Well, he knocks the bat right into a mirror. Smashes a glass table. You'll never get me alive, you fucking greased up douchebag. I got my gosh. He then slams down the door of the bat and proceeds to batter his family. He looked into the mirror at himself and he was disappointed in who he became, so he started eating a bowl of pancakes while letting the Shanholtz run around the house. Shanholtz then revealed himself and he was only one foot tall. I told you I was the bet and I brung my friend though. Oh man.